Hello everybody. Recently got quite a few requests about the test mode in the Kawai Tysco SX240 synthesizers. So I'm going to give you a second demonstration. This one is how to test the actual individual voices. There are eight of them in the SX240, as you know, right there. Eight voice polyphonic. Now as you all know, I'm going to turn this off. When you push down a C chord down here, right here, and turn it on while holding it, that puts it into the test mode. So, you have to bear with me because I'm holding the camera in my hand. I'll get the power switch. And when I release these notes, test mode, as you know, and the review, you know, pushing buttons, test your lights and your switches. You know, if the switch works, light goes out. Applies to all the buttons, even the release button. Now the voice test mode. Now, there are several test modes in here. I don't understand all of them, but the lowest C note right there. If you push it, I'm gonna, I haven't pushed it yet. I'm going to show you the display. When you push it once, you get your digital analog converter's voltage. Push it again, it sends four and a half volts through it. I'm assuming. Push it again goes to resonant, I'm assuming this is your resonance setting, which is also right here, where is it? It is on here somewhere, right here, your resonance, because it's setting it at 98, and this number right here is your number one voice, so it needs to say you don't hear anything. If that was 99, as you know, your sound would loop and it would self-resonate, so hitting the C down here again will self-loop it, 99, you should hear the tone. Now when you hear the tone, that is voice number one's tone, and it's indicated by this number right here. Now the eight buttons here for your memory are what we're going to use to test each voice. Pushing number one is number one. Now I'm going to zoom out so you can see what's going on here. If you push number two, it will add voice number two along with voice number one. And you can hear the two together. It's offset on purpose so that you know both voices are working. Now when you push number three, it will add voice number three and turn number two off. So pushing number three, there you go. You still hear a difference, so you know both voices are sounding. You're hearing voice number one and voice number three now, and no longer hearing number two. Going through and hitting four, and five, and six, seven, and eight. We'll test all your voices, and as long as you hear the difference, you know that voice is working, because it's comparing it to voice number one. Now if you go back to one, that's just voice one by itself. And that's how you test your sounds. Now, last thing, if you push this one last time, it, it ends your adjustment. I don't know how you adjust it, but, this is say, that's how you end it. And of course, turning it off and then back on puts you back into your normal playable mode. Hope this helps everyone keeping these great synthesizers going. And if I learn anything more about them, I will certainly upload more videos.